think what people have trouble with sometimes, if you can't see something, then maybe it doesn't really exist. Sometimes, because we, we're not able in this room to see on the outside. However, if you take the analogy to science for a moment, is there things in science that we can't see? If so, what would that be? Cells. Cells. Okay, we can see some things under a microscope, so maybe I'd be okay with certain things like that. Or, okay, you can go even smaller. <laughs> can we see, let, let me go use something more people are aware of, like an electron. Or an atom. Let's do an atom. Can we see an atom? Not really. There are pictures of them. These are different structures that different scientists have made in the past. Let me get the light so it's a little easier to see. But uh, these are different things that different scientists have made. Um, however, these are still not a picture uh, of the actual structures. They're, they're done by a method called microscopy. Um, and it, it's uh, kind of a complicated process, but um, this is what we are guessing are atoms and what like our science and our different experiments have led us to and even to a point that people can make a little dude that you see on the right or the IBM on the left um, and kind of move these things that we think are atoms much less protons, electrons, quarks or anything even smaller than that uh, gets even more ridiculous about seeing. So there's a lot of things in science we can't see as well, and we're okay with that. We, that doesn't bother us. Um, and in the same way, there's a lot of things faith-based, God, i.e. God, that you might not be able to see, but that does not necessarily make us more, uh, you know, uninclined to believe it. And it's just sometimes we can't see things.